Hello all. Welcome to the Mechanical Engineer. In this video, we are going to solve a few problems on the design of clutches. So first, let me give a small introduction about what is clutch. So a clutch is a mechanical device that engages and disengages power transmission, especially from a driving shaft to a driven shaft. So in our automobiles, in between the engine and gearbox, there will be a clutch. So when we apply the clutch, then the motion will be disengaged from the engine to the gearbox. So there, the clutch is used. Okay. So the clutch has a flywheel to store the energy and it has a clutch disc and a pressure plate. So the pressure plate is applying pressure on the clutch disc so that it is in the engaged mode. So when we apply the clutch, then the pressure plate will be removed from the clutch disc and the power transmission is disconnected. So this is the basic construction of a clutch. So there are two types of clutches are there. One is a single plate clutch and the another one is a multi plate clutch. In single plate clutch, so there will be only one clutch disc and this is the pedal. When we apply the pedal, the clutch plate will be disengaged from the contact surfaces. So when the pedal is in disengaged mode, then the clutch will be in contact and the power will be transmitted. Okay. So in case of multi plate clutch, there will be a series of clutch disc and clutch plates. Okay. So the single plate clutch is used to transmit uh, um, power where the uh, space constraint is not there. But the multi plate clutch is used where space constraint is there because with the help of a small diameter multi plate clutch, we can achieve a high power transmission. So next we'll move into the design of single plate clutch. So the clutch has two radius. One is the inner radius or IE and the another one is outer radius RO. So the design of clutch can be performed in two theories. One is uniform wear theory and another one is by considering the uniform pressure theory. Okay. So in uniform wear theory, the tra ta torque transmitting capacity of the clutch can be calculated by using this equation. So that is T is equal to N into mu of A by 2 R O plus R I. So here N is the number of contact surfaces which are active. In case of a single plate clutch, so it has two sides. So in the right side and in the left side. In case of single plate clutch, N is equal to 2. And mu is the coefficient of friction between the contact surfaces. Then R O is the outer diameter, sorry, outer radius and Ri is the inner radius. The Fa is the axial force used to engage. So the equation for Fa is equal to Fa is equal to 2 pi P maximum Ri into Ro minus Ri. So here P max is the maximum pressure intensity provided by the pressure plate and Ri is the inner radius, RO is the outer radius and again RA is the inner radius. Okay, fine. In case of uniform pressure theory, the equation for tran torque transmitting capacity is equal to N mu FA by 2, 2 by 3 into RO cube minus RA cube divided by RO square minus RA square. And the axial force used to engage the clutch that is FA is equal to pi P max RO square minus RA square. So the difference between uniform wear theory and uniform pressure theory is in uniform wear theory, we have assumed that the wear is uniform throughout the clutch plate. 
So that is the rate of wear is uniform throughout the clutch plate. In case of uniform pressure theory, the assumption is the maximum pressure intensity is same throughout the pressure plate. Here, you, wear is not uniform. Here, the pressure is uniform throughout the clutch plate. Now, we'll solve a few problems on that. The first problem is an automotive single plate clutch consists of two pairs of contacting surfaces. The inner and outer radii of the friction plates are 120 mm and 250 mm respectively. So, we will start with the given data. So, given Ri is equal to 120 mm and Ro is equal to 250 mm. The coefficient of friction is 0 0.25. So, mu is equal to 0 0.25. And the total axial force is 15 kilo Newton. That is, Fa is equal to 15 kilo Newton. So, to find the power transmitting capacity of the clutch plate at 500 rpm. So, N is equal to 500 rpm. So, we have to calculate the power transmitting capacity P. By using the two theories, one is uniform wear theory and another one is uniform pressure theory. So, first we will consider uniform wear theory. Okay. So, we know that for calculating the power, the equation is P is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60. So, in that we have the n then we have to calculate the value of T that is torque and we know that by considering uniform wear theory the equation for T is T is equal to N mu Fa by 2 RO plus Ri. So in the problem it is given that it is a single plate clutch with two pairs of contacting surfaces which means that n is equal to 2 so we will substitute here n is equal to 2 and mu is given in the problem it is 0 0.25 and fa is given so fa is given in kilo newton so i have converted it into newton so that is 15 into 10 power 3 newton so i can substitute it it is 15 into 10 power 3 divided by 2 into RO. Okay. So, here the value of RO and RI is given in mm, but I am going to substitute everything in meter. So, I am going to convert it to 0 0.25 meter. Similarly, it is 0 0.12 meter. Okay. So, use meter, then substitute RO is 0 0.25 plus RI is 0 0.12. So, by solving this, I will get 1387.5 and the unit is Newton meter. So, now I can substitute the torque value in the power equation. So, P is equal to 2 into pi into N is given as 500 and the torque is 1387.5 divided by 60 and we know that when we substitute the torque in Newton meter then we will get the power value in watt. So, the answer is 72.65 into 10 power 3 watt. So, next we will use the uniform pressure theory. So, according to uniform pressure theory the torque equation is T is equal to N mu Fa 2 by 3 into RO cube minus RI cube divided by RO square minus RI square. Now, we can substitute the values N is 2, mu is 0 0.25 into FA is 15 into 10 power 3 into 2 by 3 into RO is 0 0.25. 25 square minus 0 0.12 square 
divided by sorry i mean 0.25 cube 12 cube divided by 0.25 square minus 0.12 square now we if we solve this then we will get 144.6 newton meter further p is equal to 2 pi n is 500 into 1444.6 divided by 60 so the answer is 75.64 into 10 power 3 watt or otherwise you can write it as 75.64 kilowatt okay so in the problem it is clearly mentioned that the two pairs of contacting surfaces are there so that is why i have considered n is equal to 2 fine okay the second problem is a single plate clutch with both the sides effective so we'll start from the given data so when both the sides are effective n is equal to 2 it is used to transmit power at 1440 rpm so capital n is equal to 1440 rpm so it has outer and inner radius of ro is equal to 80 mm that is equal to 0.08 meter and ri is equal to 60 mm that is equal to 0.06 meter the maximum intensity of pressure is limited to that is p max is equal to 10 into 10 power 4 newton per meter square okay so here the maximum pressure intensity is given further the coefficient of friction is also given that is mu is equal to 0.3 so to find number 1 the axial force exerted on the plate that is fa and number 2 is power transmitted that is capital p so here the type of theory is not mentioned so better we can choose uniform wear theory okay solution so first we need fa and we know that the equation for fa is fa is equal to 2 pi p max r i into r o minus r i so we can substitute the given values here so that is equal to 2 pi the p max is given as 10 into 10 power 4 and r i is 0.06 remember that i am substituting everything in meter so by solving this i will get the fa is equal to 754 newton further i am going to calculate the power p so for calculating p the equation is 2 pi n t divided by 60 so here i need the torque so let me calculate the torque then so the torque t is equal to according to uniform wear theory the torque equation is n mu fa by 2 ro plus r i it is equal to n is given as 2 mu is 0.3 into fa we have calculated it is 754 divided by 2 into ro is 0. 08 plus r i is 0.06 so if we solve this then we will get the torque as 31.67 newton meter further the power p is equal to this 2 pi n is given as 1440 into the torque is 31. 67 divided by 60 then as we have substituted the 
torque in newton meter then we will get the power in watt okay so the value is 4643 watts or otherwise you can write it as 4.63 4.643 kilowatt okay fine so in the previous problem we have calculated the power using two theories but here we have used only one theory but in the previous problem the axial force exerted that is fa is directly given but here it is not given and we have calculated it so the third problem a single plate clutch consists of sorry transmits 25 kilowatt okay so given p is equal to 25 kilowatt that is 25 into 10 power 3 watt at n is equal to 900 rpm so the maximum pressure intensity between the plate is 85 kilo newton per meter square so p max is equal to 85 into 10 power 3 newton per meter square i have converted the kilo newton into newton so the ratio of radii is 1.25 it means that ro by ri is equal to 1.25 further we can write it as ro is equal to 1.25 ri both the sides of the plates are effective which means that n is equal to 2 the coefficient of friction is 0.25 mu is equal to 0.25 to find number 1 the inner and outer radius so ri and ro and number 2 the axial force to engage the clutch that is fa assume uniform wear theory okay so the theory is given so now we have to calculate the radius by using uniform wear theory so to calculate the radius first from the power we have to calculate the torque and from the torque only we can calculate the radius so the equation for power is p is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 so power is given as 25 into 10 power 3 is equal to 2 into pi into 900 into t divided by 60 okay fine so by solving this i'll get t is equal to 265.26 newton meter so now i have calculated the value of torque now i can substitute it in the torque equation the torque equation for uniform wear theory is t is equal to n mu f a by 2 ro plus r i okay so before this i have to calculate this fa so that i can calculate uh, the radius because in this equation the torque is given that is we have calculated n is given mu is given ro and ri we have to calculate before that fa we have to calculate so fa is equal to we know that the equation for fa is fa is equal to 2 pi p max R I R O minus R I. So here I am going to substitute the values. So it is two pi into P max is given in the problem. That is eighty five into ten power three and R I R O minus R I. So in this equation I can substitute that. the ro is equal to 1.25 ri so it is equal to 2 pi into 85 into 10 power 3 ri instead of ro i am going to write it as 1.25 ri minus ri so by solving this i'll get the f value as 1.335 into 10 power 5 
R i the whole square. Now I can substitute this F a in the Targi equation. So T is equal to n is 2 mu is 0 0.25 into F a is 1.335 into 10 power 5 R i square divided by 2 into instead of R o I can write it as 1.25 R i plus R i. Okay. So in this equation the only unknown value is R i. Okay. So by solving this I can calculate the value of R i. So the calculated R i value is and before that we know the value for torque. Okay. So torque we have calculated earlier we can substitute it. So it is 265.26. So torque is 256. Sorry, it is 265. It is 265.26. So that I can calculate the value of Ri. So the calculated Ri value is Ri is equal to 0 0.15 meter. Now we can substitute the Ri value in the ratio that is RO is equal to 1.25 Ri. So I can substitute in this equation and I can calculate the value of RO that is RO is equal to 0.19 meter. So I have calculated the value of RI and RO. Now the second subdivision is FA. So we have the equation for FA that is FA is equal to 1.335 into 10 power 5. So that is FA is equal to 1.335 into 10 power 5 Ri square. So here I am going to substitute the value of Ri. It is 1.335 into 10 power 5. Instead of Ri, I can substitute as 0 0.15 square. Okay. So I will get the FA value as 30.5. Nine six point five seven Newton. Okay, so this is the final FEA value. So the difference between the previous problem and this problem is in the previous problem the FEA is given, RO is given, and RI is given. We have calculated the power, but in this problem the power is given and we have calculated the RO, RA, I mean RI and FEA. That's all. Thank you.